If you're a developer and you don't know what semantic versioning is, you're about to find out. Building software is a continuous process where something is first shipped, then new versions come out. But each version is different. Some versions might have new features that are backwards compatible. Other versions might have breaking changes. And other versions might just have bug fixes. So how can project maintainers communicate effectively with developers so that developers know what to expect when a new version comes out? That's where semantic versioning comes in. Semantic versioning, or semver, is a release strategy that dictates how version numbers are assigned based on the type of change that's happening. Here's how it works. A version number consists of three digits, where each digit will be incremented based on the type of change that's happening. When incrementing the first digit from the left, this means that this is a major version, which will introduce breaking changes. These changes are not backwards compatible, so to upgrade, developers have to go through the release notes to understand exactly how to do it. When incrementing the second digit with a new release, this means that this is a minor version. So new features are introduced, but they are backwards compatible. And then finally, when incrementing the last digit, this means that this new version just contains bug fixes that are backwards compatible.